An industrial estate isn't the most obvious place to grow plants, but I've been told that here in one of these warehouses there is a thriving commercial farm that provides salads to restaurants across London. Without a speck of soil in sight, the secret to this farm's success comes from an unlikely source. So this is the fish farm. So what kind of fish are these? This is tilapia. Tilapia are not a very widely known fish in the UK, but they're actually the second most widely farmed fish in the world. Are they nearly ready now, these? Yes, yeah, so they... these fish will be coming out in the next week or so. And I know that the fish are not the only thing that are important here. No, so obviously as we feed the fish, they do a lot of pooing. So we filter the water, we take those solids out of it, but there's still lots of nutrients left in the water, and we use that water for a special purpose. And what's that? What are they going to show you? Stuffed full of plants, this warehouse produces up to 20,000 kilograms of salads and herbs a year. This looks like the inside of one of those spaceships that you see in science fiction that goes to Mars and yeah. grows its own food. It's quite spectacular. We take the water from next door that's full of nutrients from the fish poo and we use it to, to water these plants. So all the nutrients that the plant needs come from the fish waste. So when we combine growing plants with fish farming like this, it's a system called aquaponics. So the plants sit in a recycled carpet fabric, and as you can see, their roots just grow through the bottom of these trays, and they pick up the liquids. It's such a great idea, because I suppose usually in a fish farm, you just have to pump that out into a river, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. For us, it becomes a resource rather than a waste stream. Would you like to try some? Yeah. Mm. So this radish is grown in fish poo. It certainly is. Beautiful. Don't mind me, I'm just having my lunch. So is this the future of farming? Is this what we'll see more of? This very efficient use of everything? You know, I think it's got a large role to play in the future of farming, but for crops like grains that take up lots of space, require a lot of energy input, and can be stored and transported quite well, there's no need to grow them in a system like this. But things like salads are very perishable, so they don't travel very well, so it makes sense to grow them in places like this, in cities, using these sort of techniques. So it's much more efficient. You don't have to sort of put that in a plane or a ship and transport it from yeah. across large distances. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, well, coach brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>